Hey, welcome to the second exercise of the course. In this exercise we will create a very creepy 3D room and the camera will float around this room, will circle around this room and in the room will be this character, this beautiful illustration from Freepik. This statue will be on the center of the room. We're going to use this image of the floor and we're going to use this walls image and finally we will use this free stock footage of a screen glitch but that will be at the end of the exercise right now we're going to use these three files these are from freepik and what i want you to learn in this exercise is how easy it is to create a 3d room on after effects of course 3d is not the main option on of after effects if you want to create something on 3D, you go to Cinema 4D or 3D Max or any other 3D software. But on After Effects, we can create simple things, simple stuff that may be 3D with the 3D layers that I told you about. But of course, it it's, will always be better to do the 3D stuff on a 3D software. So enough talking. Now let's begin with the exercise. First, let's create a new composition let's create an HDTB 1080 it could be let's give it 50 seconds but will, will probably last less than that click OK now the first thing is to grab one of these walls image and we're going to throw it here on our composition let's right click and go to transform fit to comp okay you may notice that it is stretched out but this works for me so we're going to make three copies of this so we will end up with four copies of these walls and we're going to select all of them and make them 3d with this icon here now they are all 3d if you rotate them you can see how they are 3D. All right. Now let's go to two views horizontal and let's set this view to custom view. Now we have this. All right. Now let, let's close in a little. And the idea is to form a cube with these walls. Actually, let's make one more copy. Now we will have five of these images. Turn one of them off and we will work with these four. Now let's call this first one, let's rename this with right click and this will be our front wall. This will be the wall that is going to be in front of us. You can turn this off Let's grab the next one and we're going to select the C axis and place it to the back. Let's turn off these ones to see how far away is the wall. Okay. Let us increase this distance. I will tell you exactly the position. Let's set it to 2000. All right. We can fix that later if we want, so doesn't matter. Now, this one will be the back wall. Now, turn these ones off and now with this one selected, let's go to the rotation, press the key, the R key on your keyboard, and on the Y rotation, we will set it to 90 degrees. Okay, now let's go to our active camera and let's set this wall here. Now let's grab this one again, the back wall and 
take it closer so that it can form a cube and all we have to do is to fix this so that it makes sense okay so the position for this one will be 1877 now let's turn on the final wall let's call this one right wall and finally this one will be rotated as well on the y axis on 90 degrees now take this one through the C position until it's touching the corner of the other wall of the back wall like this let's bring this a little closer too now let's uh, get a little far away this one will be called the left wall and now let's turn on our front wall and let's bring it closer with the C axis like this and of course this will be turned off because otherwise we won't see anything and the idea is that the camera is over here on this point and the camera will enter the 3D room circle and go back to the original position so we will have to turn on and off this wall sometimes F so right now let's turn it off and now this one will be the ceiling now for the ceiling let's turn it on and we're going to change the rotation but not on the y-axis but on the x-axis remember that the x-axis is the red arrow so if we want this to turn horizontally we need to change this rotation so we will hit this rotation and set it, set it to 90 degrees and now let's change the position over the C axis like this and if you take these anchors you can change the scaling okay this looks good now all we need is the floor let's bring our floor here to our composition let's first call this ceiling and the ceiling will be turned off as well because we will need to see what is going on here on the floor on the 3d room so this will be on our way so turn off the ceiling for now now the floor let's rename this file right now we don't see it here because it's not 3D but when we hit this we can see it on 3D so let's rotate it on the X axis to 90 degrees actually it would be minus 90 degrees and now bring it down with the C axis and scale it up with this anchor okay Now let's see for a minute how it looks with the active camera. It looks good. And with the ceiling. Okay, we're getting there. Now let's go to composition settings and let's make this composition black. 
so that if we we don't have any white edges for on any side let's go again to our custom view and let's scale the floor a little on the sides like this let's see how it looks okay that looks better now selecting the floor let's go to effect color correction and let's grab the levels and I'm going to place the dark tones to the right because I want the floor to be really dark like this set the gamma to 0 0.65 and the input black let's set it to 50 okay now let's create an adjustment layer here layer new adjustment layer and on this adjustment layer we will add a color correction to and we will set the levels and we will add a little black to the input black because I want the walls to be really dark too let's leave it on 15 yeah I think this works so right now the floor is too dark way too dark so we need to go to the floor again and maybe in instead of 15 let's set it to 30 I think this is fine. Okay, now it's time to bring our creepy character. You can see that I call it creepy character because I don't really know what it is, but it's really cool, but very creepy too. So I'm going to drop it here on the composition. And let's select this option so that it doesn't get pixelated. now she will be well I am assuming that it's a she will be here in the middle of the room so right now it looks like she's on the middle of the room but this isn't a 3d layer so let's change that first make sure that the adjustment layer is above of all of the layers for now now make this object 3d and now let's go to our custom view and you can see that it's right on the middle of the room so let's go back to our active camera and let's turn on our ceiling and there we go we have now a 3D room you can see how easy it was just with some images and playing with the rotation and the depth of the 3D layers. So let's go to the next lesson to add some lighting to this room.